<laughs> hi guys hi hi everybody hi you over there i hope you have been doing great i missed you it's been a while since i have had a sit down so i was thinking right i was thinking about what to talk to you guys about today and it came to me because i'm getting my finances together and all that jazz and i've learned quite a bit from when I first started my job to now and there have been many mistakes like I'm not even going to lie to you there have been many mistakes I wish somebody told me before I made them so I'm gonna share it with you because I hope that it will resonate with somebody and if you see yourself going down this path please please heed my warning because you really don't want to be wasting any time and wasting any money because time is money as the cliche saying says we just want to make sure that we are earning learning and growing all right So before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel because I have so many more goodies for you and I would love for you to join the family. We're growing and glowing and I see it, I appreciate it and I just want to thank you for hitting that subscribe button. So if you have not already, please join the family and stay updated with all the great stuff that is going to be coming going to be dropping every wednesday and saturday so i'm excited to talk about this with you because i think like i need to tell somebody i need to tell somebody because i can't believe in this by myself i can't be holding this to myself i could be helping somebody so without further ado let's begin so the first mistake well not mistake the first thing i learned was to have a credit card a credit card um yeah as much as people stare away from it it is something that is an asset because you can earn points or cash back on this while you are spending all your money <laughs> i mean let's be realistic you have to spend money on food you have to spend money on the necessities so might as well get cash back at the end of the year you get a little i call it stipend stipend or a little um amount in your thing but it's something it's something like it's something that you can use to buy more food or buy more clothes you know because um i like i i don't like seeing my money go out of my account so might as well get something out of it even if it's a little bit it's a lot because if you didn't have a credit card you wouldn't be getting anything in the beginning or in the end so yeah but the flip side of it is that some persons I see they are quick to say no I'm not getting no credit card because they spend everything spend the bank money spend their money spend everybody money that they could get their hands on because they see the credit card and they think that they have the money at hand so they can buy a new purse for three thousand dollars or invest in going to a hotel when you don't have the money and buy everything in the supermarket because you know you have to eat fancy no no a credit card is a loan it's a bank loan and you have to pay it back if you can't pay it back you pay it back with interest and then they come and take your house land and car so if you don't want to be that person make sure that you have some kind of budget in place to afford a credit card because although you see that you can put the credit card on Shein or wherever else you buy clothes and stuff from and you see instantly you pay for it Uganda you're gonna have to pay for that from the bank and the bank already has your TRN has your social security number and all that details so when them come to you with a police or a bailiff to come and take your house do not say that I did not warn you <laughs> okay right. the second thing is budgeting <sighs> it's just something that I've learned how to budget properly like I mean I'm not telling you to eat rice and 
corned beef or um, eat from the dollar menu every single day of your life until you die. I'm just saying that you need to budget the necessities and make sure that you have some kind of structure in place and you know you have your income and then you have your bills your expenditure and your savings because you know you have to put savings aside save more than you spend people save more than you spend and if you have you know extra you can actually spend that money but don't be dipping into your savings because you see that you have it and don't be taking from your kitty or whatever you want to call it because your bills are so and so a month and you budgeted for this so you're going to now take that money and spend it put it in savings all right so just learn how to budget properly um budgeting really helps it also aids in making sure that you can see where your money is going and work towards paying everything off saving that little you know amount for the month and then seeing how much you can freestyle with and go to wherever restaurant you want right deal yeah i see where persons come with their whole oh I'm going to invest because the prime minister or the president or whoever else mentors you um, said investments is the way to go and I'm going to invest. I remember when Jamaican saw Wigton as a thing and everybody and them dog invest in that company. Like you wouldn't even believe. Now investments is not a quick thing. You ain't going to be rich and switch once you buy shares in a company like some people don't know this i knew this but i learned from it because you're not going to take up your little twenty thousand dollars and buy twenty thousand shares and expect to be getting some dividend of seventy two thousand dollars like that's not how it works like it is a long-term investment and you reap the rewards after like years and years and years of just having the money put down so if you're thinking that you can go and buy a house based on the shares that you invest in a company that was selling for one dollar per share think again friend think again like it is generational wealth like probably your granddaughter or great granddaughter from another mother is going to be reaping the benefits from this investment and if you want to be that type of person who actually, you know, watches stock and make sure that, you know, you buy when the stock is low and you sell when it's high and get that return on investment and all that jazz and make a profit from your selling of shares, then by all means, be that person. If you have more than 24 hours in the day and you don't work, then you can you can do that because it's a it's a thing that you actually have to watch and wait and be patient with but if that's your cup of tea then go ahead go ahead guys go ahead <laughs> so the next thing is living above your means i don't know what it is where they will floss and brough on somebody just to show that you can afford it listen if you're eating cornbread and cheese for the rest of the month, you cannot afford. Like, you buy the clothes, you get your nails done, you get your hair done, you get your whatever else done, just so you can spend a day at a party standing up on your phone and not talking or dancing. Like, it makes no sense to me. But what do I know? Like, if it's your cup of tea, I'm not going to hit you down on it, but I'm just saying. Stop living above your means because chances are you can't afford it and you can't afford it yet let me say yet because we are going towards the goal of being able to afford anything without looking on our expenditure or looking on our account amount at the end of the month because paycheck to paycheck is not cute all right i've seen people not have an emergency fund like anything can happen just like those persons who hunt you down for life insurance and then lead with, oh, you can have a heart attack or you can lose a limb. Yeah, not having an emergency fund is not cute. 
Like if you want to do the hot girl summer, hot girl summer people have emergency funds because they could be on a boat and drop off the boat and can't swim and drown, inhale water and have to go to the hospital. Like who knows? Like the final destination stuff happened, all right? But I'm saying that having an emergency fund actually helps you in budgeting because that way you can put aside put aside put aside put aside each month it doesn't have to be a lot because imagine if god forbid that happens to you right and then you find yourself dipping into your savings account no and once you dip once you keep dipping until you run dry all right so if you don't have an emergency fund get on that people like get on that yesterday like seriously in the spirit of having extra funds or extra little pockets of things compartments of savings and emergency funds i am going to tell you to do a lifestyle fund all right that travel fund or that food fund or that hotel fund vacation fund it don't matter what kind of fun it is as long as it is not when you want to celebrate with your friends and you don't have the money and you say oh you know i remember lexi was telling me this but i didn't listen to her don't be that person all right i'm saying to build a lifestyle i'm gonna call it lifestyle fun because it umbrellas everything right be that person who just like the emergency fund you set aside a monthly thing where you just tap it up tap it up tap it up so when you want to go on that vacation or when you want to um, accompany your friend on her birthday bash for her you know celebration then you can just say yeah let me take a little from that lifestyle fund I'm not gonna mess up my savings I'm not going to mess up emergency fund I'm not going to mess up my life and not be able to pay your bills he needs some no. milk because we are learning today all right so have a lifestyle fund people don't have it and they like i said dip into them savings and go downhill don't be that person, don't be that person. so i also have another thing to say this has been i'm, I'm not going to lie it has been a thing that i i i have not done in my earlier stages and it's until recently where i decided that you know i'm going to have various accounts but you want to avoid this all right <laughs> having one account for everything it's like you're making stew peas and you want to add fish and you want to add beef and chicken and every single type of meat because it's going to be some mystery sunday meal no you want to have more than one account it is for several reasons all right one is safety you don't want god forbid anything happen to you anything happen and you know you're engaged in a robbery or something and the person go take it to the atm and you have to give them the entire of your savings because you have one account no no so also you can see where you get hacked because people are trying to hack you and scam you every single day. Imagine you, God forbid, again, use your debit card and then you hear say somebody in Sweden have access to your money and literally transferred everything out. No. So you want to have more than one account and you have it building interest. Have a fixed account. Have an account where you get paid. Have an account that you save with. Have an emergency account. Like these things are free for heaven's sakes. So just don't have it in one space. So you, if you have it in one space, you have a bigger risk of losing it, right? There's always a risk. You could be a nun, you could be a Pope, you could be Obama himself. You have a risk of losing your dinero. So if you put it in different parts, it is harder to get to and not everybody like not everybody will know where or what or how much you have in each account just like when you go downtown and you put 
$100 in your pocket because you know this is your tax refund. You put $500 in this pocket because this is for market. You put some in your shoe in case you get robbed, but nobody going to look in your shoe. Like, that's, that's the mentality I want. Yeah. So, make sure that this is a thing. Can't say I didn't warn you. Can't say I didn't tell you. Can't say I did not recommend this. So, yeah. <laughs> that is all I have for you today guys I hope it was valuable I hope you learned something I hope you could relate to it and say oh my goodness let's not do this let's 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 make that savings account tomorrow because it is so important we are all human we make mistakes and I am here to say that I've made some and I don't want it to to be your story all right you could relate in some way to this and it has helped you even a little bit like <laughs> so guys uh, that is all i have for you today i love that you are here and i will see you in the next video so if you are new and got to this far in the video i would like to encourage you to just hit that subscribe button and give a comment if you know your something slap like something i said slap and you're just like yes that is me i am the culprit but yeah we're all about learning we're all about growing we're all about not making the same mistakes we did a year ago today because if you are making any of these mistakes from anything else i just said and you are going to just click off this video and go watch a cat being stripped off his clothes then i got nothing for you but if you're going to implement some of these recommendations or if you're gonna say you know let me do a sit down and evaluate my life then by all means guys i love to see it and my heart is warm I really appreciate it so guys I'm gonna leave you here and I hope you have a great day great week great month or year it doesn't matter as long as it's great so I'll see you in the next video bye Where are you?